please welcome, uh, you know, today I, we, we have a fascinating guest, um, somebody I had the opportunity and the pleasure to speak to. And I, and I wanted to do it again as soon as possible because his life, uh, you know, by, by every stretch of the imagination, it, it, is, uh, it embodies the word fascinating. Um, he has been involved with some of the most uh, high profile cases uh, over the last half century, at least. Please welcome American physician and board certified forensic pathologist, the world renowned Dr. Michael Bodden. How are you, Dr. Bodden? Fine, Sean, good to be with you again. Absolutely, thanks so much for being so gracious with your time, um, I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I want to start by talking about your new book, American Autopsy. Why choose to write this book now? I, I, I chose to write it because I realized in the, in the past 20 years, 25 years, that a deep division in our society, it's sort of that we got a... a, a, a um, uh, an understanding of it a little bit with O.J. Simpson. I remember I was involved with O.J. Simpson and was surprised at the sharp reaction there was back in the 1990s uh, uh, to uh, the, the, the not guilty verdict in the criminal case. And it was really along racial lines. Uh, and uh, it made me appreciate more about the role of medical examiners, police, prosecutors, uh, in creating this division, especially especially since 19, uh, 2007, when uh, Steve Jobs developed the iPhone and suddenly realized that a lot of things that I was told by police when people died in custody was not correct to see what happened on uh, passerby videos. Uh, was different than what they told us as medical examiners, and which we adopted. We they grew up, you know, that uh, inculcated as, as medical examiners do now. Uh, uh, that uh, they, we were a three-legged stool. You know, the prosecutor, the uh, police, and the medical examiner working together to get the bad guys. And I had a realization as as I developed as a medical examiner uh, that. Uh, we are forensic pathologists are trained as doctors and scientists to just make a decision what the science sh uh, shows. And um, we get put into a corner with political and um, local uh, decisions that are made uh, that is sort of makes our science uh, less. Um, uh, unbiased. We get, we get into situations where we're expected to agree with uh, uh, the police and prosecutors' version of events, even if that isn't what shows up on the uh, on the um, um, uh, autopsy. Uh, and this was just the reason I started the book was the, the George Floyd uh, death uh, showed how clearly uh, not only that uh, the uh, police and the prosecutors are involved but how the medical examiners are part of uh, really a corrupt system where the reason I was called uh, to do a second autopsy in, in George Floyd was because after three days, four days after the uh, uh, Floyd's death, the prosecutor came out with uh, uh, the decision that uh, the prosecutor and the medical examiner in uh, Minneapolis had determined that the police restraint of Floyd had nothing to do with his death. Correct. And that showed me how if the medical examiner agrees with that, which that's what the prosecutor said, that's the end of the case. They're not going to do any further examination. The only reason that Floyd became such a cause for concern was the photo, the video that was taken by a 15-year-old uh, girl who happened to be there and who rightly got the Pulitzer Prize for her uh, photograph. Amazing. And that if there hadn't been that separate uh, separate uh, uh, video that was public, that was made public by the individual who took the, uh, the video, 
not through police channels, uh, that um, I thought I should look at all my similar cases. I picked about 20 cases that I've been involved with uh, involving deaths during uh, police restraint. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.